Yeah, my favourite record, I mean, it's changing all the time, but I, I really love... One record I always keep coming back to is Robert Wyatt's Rock Bottom album. It was an album that came out in 74, I think. And yeah, it's the first, it was his, he regards it as his first solo album. He released an album before that called The End of an Ear, but he, this was a, he regards this as his first record, his first proper record. I must have been 17, 18. So I discovered Robert Wyatt and then, the whole, and then his band, Soft Machine, Matching Mole, all that stuff. I discovered that quite late on in my teens. But um, all of that music had a massive um, influence on me and how I approach anything I do musically. And just the whole kind of free-spiritedness of it. No, maybe volume two and third, those two Soft Machine albums um, where Robert Wyatt was heavily involved in, those ones influenced me a lot as well. And then Robert Wyatt's solo stuff really, um, really had a big effect on me. The artwork is very, I mean, they're two, they're two, different, vers they're two different versions of the Rock Bottom album. I mean, there, there's, there's the original version, which I haven't been able to find anywhere where it's, it's two, I think it's two people swimming. It's like this, um, I think three or four colours are used, very bold colours, are very thought-provoking. And I think Alfreda is his partner, his wife, did, um, did the current version, the current artwork, which is available now. Um, which I think is in a similar setting where there's a lot more going on. You know, I think there's this whole, um, this whole theme of, of being immersed.